Hello, my fellow Shogun 2 players, this is Rip Say. I'm here with Majutsu. Hello. And we are casting Reds 1v1 Domination 2.0 Tournament. Mm hmm. This is a Shogun 2 Tournament, not Rome 2, as you may have expected. Yay! <laughs> and we have Red from Agony against the VMS's Hannibalismus on. Uh, Wait, on Gunma Field. Yeah. Gunma Field, yep. Can't even remember the maps. <laughs> so we just started this tournament today. Uh, so this is a group stage match. It's gonna be uh, quite epic, I hope. A lot of good players entered this tournament or were entered by Red. <laughs> yes, default. So, <laughs> yeah. He asked me and then I checked who was signed in and I, my name was already wit written there. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Uh, oh, I like how Red is naming his units. Others, Purple Beauties, and we have Infinite Yari, and Do Cavalry. What? <laughs> Ago. Spoilers. Yeah, Unicorn Attack. There's a unit named Unicorn Attack. <laughs> Little tribute to Unicorn. And Queen's Guard. <laughs> uh, very interesting names. I wonder though what uh, Hannibalismus brought. Hmm. I like wonder, a but build. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Flat map, not a lot of terrain, so it's we perfect for rushing, and workshop. that's what he's known for. Yeah, we have workshop yeah. and shrine, so it's gonna be difficult to decide what to go for. Like, if he's gonna rush, he's gonna get one of the key buildings or two of the key buildings, yeah. depending on what Red's gonna do at least. Yeah. I mean, like, if you rush, you usually get a key building or two. To Red, I was suggesting for the lols, for him to bring a famous uh, bow general, bring great guards, some uh, bow cav, and matchlocks, and spears, and just... Ooh. <laughs> but I don't think... No, Red said he's against ma using matchlocks. Yeah, yeah, he does. And uh, he and Vim were playing, uh, I think, two days ago. And uh, they were streaming, and I was constantly telling him to bring matchlocks, but he wouldn't. He refused. <laughs> well, the old samurai way. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Taking a while. So it seems. Or... No, it seems they're ready. Oh. So any minute now. I'm gonna go over Red's build once the game starts. But man, this okay. is taking a while. <laughs> yeah, it's Red. He takes forever. Alright. Here we go. So for Red, we have Famous uh, Leader. Then we have four Katana Samurai in the front, interestingly enough. Level 4. This is gonna be interesting to see how they perform. We have two Light Cav in the back. Actually, Make that three. For his right flank, we have two Yari Cav. Both of them rank two. As for his left, we have two Yari Samurai rank five that were hidden in the forest, going for the shrine along with two Yari Cavalry. Both, actually no, one rank four, one rank three. And that seems to be the build of uh, Red. Well, on his far right, he still has uh a oh, yeah. BP Sam. BP Sam. Another unit that's in. So let's go uh, over Hannibalismus. Who indeed, it seems, has a rush build with two light cav in front, uh, with another Yari cav, a fire cav level 6, and another Yari cav. Uh, putting a bit of pressure on red, not to move that much forward. Uh, next to his general, who is a leader gen, he has another light cav. Then he has one matchlock, a matchlock samurai. A bunch of Naginata attendants, three, four, five, and then Lone Sword, Garo, Katana, Samurai, Lone Sword. Oh, ninjas! Fight. Ninjas! Ninjas! Where? Yeah, we have uh, ninjas. The, yeah. They were hidden for. They were shown for a bit, but they're like. Okay. I can't point on the map, but it's to the right of Hannibalismus's army. Near that okay, forest. so yeah, I see them. I see them. Oh, it's There's a sword a attendant. Oh, okay. sword attendant. So, I guess not ninjas, but he has, so his focus is on swords and cavalry. 
And to be honest, I think he has better swords than Red has. Yeah. Those lone swords are uh, interestingly enough that he brought them. They're actually gonna do okay against the Katana. But Red has an advantage in cavalry. He has more uh, quality cav. Oh, Katana cav into the Walkos. But mm. being counter charged by fire cav. But yeah. BP Sam's are in there as well, so if he just pulls out those Katana Cav... He's actually pulling out the Bulletproof Samurai, he's doing it the other way around. Oh, but the think. swords are completely exposed. Uh oh. Look at those charges coming in. Oh, Light Cav is coming in, will they be quick enough? Yeah, oh no, they stopped. He's gonna... Oh. He's gonna intercept one of them, but the other Light Cav is just gonna get in the back of these Katana Sam's. Yeah, it's not looking good for Red right now. Well, Light Cav didn't do that much in the charge. Yeah, but Zappy, the right yeah, flank for that. red, I think it's looking pretty grim for him there. His right, I mean. Well, he's taking out the cab. Well, at least one of our cab and Yari cabs going down. Too much of a loss for him. It's it's right. a blob. Uh, the Katana Sams, I wonder how much longer they will last. Oh, yeah. Already in stand and fight there. Look, he got to the matchlocks with his uh, light cap. Oh, uh, did he? No, it was countercharged by the general. Yeah, very good. Mm. But he uh, red has some good charges here on this katana sam by Hanabalismus or from Hanabalismus, mm. and he is moving his cap around to, to deliver some hammer and anvils. Oh, another yari cap going through to get to those matchlocks. Isn't completely over yet, but I feel like Hanabalismus <coughs> can grind it out. We'll see. Those cat sams will last for a long time now. His general is in a good position and he has a shrine. So Red might have a chance in the melee bell. Yeah. A workshop is taken by Hannibalismus. But Red doesn't have anything, he has no range units to kite if he doesn't last long yeah. enough. I don't think he can win the melee engagement. I think definitely Hannibalismus is gonna win that. Yeah, it's looking if he can deliver him. enough Herman Anvils and he can route those uh, mm. those Lone Swords after they uh, used up their Banzai. I don't know, his units are all so badly damaged right now. Yeah, well, on his right flank they are. On the left he... Mm, no, the Yari Sam is dying. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much over for me at least. And Hannibal Ismus should get it. Looks like one more Yari Sam coming in from red. I'm not sure what that one was from. It's full, but I don't think it's gonna bring enough to the table to allow him to win the battle. He really could have used some match locks here. Yeah. Good cav and match locks, and he could have kited and he could have won. Yeah, I think like. Weakness of Hannibalismus build is a kiting build, I suppose. Yeah. It is pretty balanced, but though, yeah. Hannibalismus build. Like, he's got a decent amount of cav and... Yeah, well, he but does have a decent amount of cav. Yeah. He has a decent amount of anti-cav, but those are all Naginata attendants. Yeah. So it's not it's, it's difficult to break, but uh, if you get rid of the uh, if you tie up the calf and get rid of the attendants, then yeah, all of those high level units are open. So game one goes to Hannibalismus. And this is best of three. See the unit statistics. Hmm. Seven emotions, joy, anger, anxiety, adoration, grief, fear, and hate. And if a man does not give way to these, he can be called patient. <laughs> Another quote. From the loading quote, screen. Quote, I didn't get, I didn't read it. Oh. And of course I get different ones, so. Yeah. Let's see, unit stats for Hannibalismus. Lone Sword's doing insanely well. <laughs> Yep, well, they're level 9, they should do well. But they didn't do that much better than just level 6 Katana Sam, for example. Actually, they didn't do better well, at all. These are like level 3... These are level 3 Katanas? I thought they were level 4. Oh, well. No, uh, for red, yeah. But it looks like they're level 3 in the unit statistics. They are level 3. 
Yeah. Mm. So those did quite well, I would say, but I guess a lot of them, a lot of those skills are from Naginata Tenants, maybe? No. Hmm. The Cav. The Cav didn't do as much as it should have, yeah. considering he had superior Cav. Four Yari Cav uh, and the Katana Cav against just two Yari Cav and the Fire Cav and, and then three Light Cav. So much Cav in the beginning on the right flank yep. without achieving much. Anyway, see you in game number two. This is game number two on Osaka Plain. It's been a while since I've seen this map and I like I like this map so much in pots. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Mm, it's but uh, even in Shogun 2 it's it's awesome, especially with these skill buildings because you can do a lot of fun stuff on this map. You can just skirmish, you can flank around heavily. Yeah. Just plenty of room. Why I like it in pots is because generally people put 150s in the center, so I just go around uh, with 125s yep. on this map. And pull back in the center. That's why it, I, it's cool. Yeah, like mm. instead of going, uh, yeah, in the middle between the farmhouse and the archery, you could also just go around the archery, cross yeah. those hills, and then push. Yeah, push someone there. Yeah, that's why I like this map, because you yep. can do so much in both games. I guess it's cool. Especially with that farmhouse, you can do a lot of stuff in, on this map. Except it's really annoying when there are no key buildings. <laughs> oh. I remember playing in that Italian tournament, me and Sprint, it was against Il Terrible and one of his clanmate. Took like two hours to finish one game, I think. Like on Yeah, because map. no one has any incentive to, to move forward yeah. and you have these very <laughs> defensible positions. Uh. Here we go. Right, so I'm gonna go over Red's build, he's got Famous leader, once again. We have, let's see, one, two light cav on his right. Two yard cav in the center, it seems like they're both rank two. As for his left flank, he's got two more yard cav, rank two. As for his uh, melee line, we've got two Naginata warrior monks on his right. And in the center, we have one, two, also three Naginata Warrior Monks, and I think all his Naginata Warrior Monks are rank 4. So he's got yep. five Naginata Warrior Monks, but that's not as big of a melee line as I thought. And I don't see any, any units he that has no skirmish use meat shield with. Like, yeah, no meat shields, no skirmishers. I do so not weird. like this setup. Yeah. What is, okay, is he gonna use his yeah. light cap as his uh, meat shields? I don't know. But, uh, but he has to with... Uh, yeah. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about uh, cav. Okay. What but does, still he needs to kill that uh, bojan. What does Hannibalismus have? Oh, so Hannibalismus has a bojan who's currently wrecking that monk. And then he has strong cav, two great guards, level 6. Uh, 30 or 29 attack, holy shit. Oh, then he has really? a Yari Cav. Yeah, he's letting his monks get shot. No, and he's he stopped capturing the farmhouse. Oh yeah, that's no. not good. <laughs> then he has two, no, one Yari Cav and two Light Cav, one on the left, one on the right. Uh, he has three Matchlocks, Matchkashigaru, Matchwari Monk, and a Matchlock Samurai, all vanilla. Uh, Yari Sam, Magnet Attendant, Odachi, Magnet yeah, Attendant. Yeah, light cap charge. Light cap, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and he might lose more if Red is keen on this. He, he can take out that the uh, Magic Kashigaru and the Tenant yeah. with two calf units. He's going for it though. Or is he oh, this my oh, another light cap. He actually got a light cap no Dutchy. He... Seven kills. Yeah, he could have stayed in there. Maybe. I think. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, afraid it's, he had it's more, cheap. I think, there. Yeah, and it's a cheap match like Ashigaru, not worth losing your Yari Cav over that. Hmm. But he should get that farmhouse, yeah. and then it's a lot easier to chase that Bojan. The thing is, killing those great guards is gonna be so annoying for him. <laughs> well, he, he always needs yeah. to have his monks close to uh, his calf. Yeah, 
that, but they could do so much. Oh no, he's gonna charge in. Oh, oh. he is. No, he's pulling back, okay, pulling back. Good. But now he needs to look out for his gen. Uh oh. His gen still moving forward. Uh oh, he. No. Okay, he's getting. Now he can engage. If he engages now, yeah, he now he can engage darts. and he can he can chase. Yeah, he can trap those. Get in, uh, in his other cab. Oh, spears of he oh, he has a spears of Shizuka Take. Yeah, look at this Nakanata monks going around the wrong side. The no, but they're trapped. Side. The great yeah. guards are trapped right now. Oh, he has oh. spears of Shizuka Take. The, just... Those great guards, both of them are so going to die right now. That was a nice yeah. trap. <laughs> yeah. And that's a major Even? blow because those are yeah. super expensive uh, retainer slot used. They did nothing as well. <laughs> like absolutely 22. Nothing. And the other one didn't even get 10 kills, I believe. Yeah, that's like 3,000 coke down the drain. What level were they? Level 6 or something? Level 6, yep. Yeah, that's more than 3,000 down the drain. The thing is, though, he's already lost a lot of his monks. Down to 82 yes, and 100. Yes, yes. But fortunately, Hanabis' anti-cav army, or part of his army, isn't that strong. Yeah. He has one Yari Sam, the rest attendants. No, two Yari Sams. Yeah, those Notachis are gonna die so fast, dude. So, he needs to get cav around, protect his monks. Yeah. And then, uh... He can, yeah, he just needs to flank, make those match locks useless. Yeah, if he had some meat shields right now, but he has no meat shields. Yeah, he could rush if he had meat blocks. shields. Yeah. All he needs to do is yeah, go around with his cavalry and force the matchlocks to reposition or something. But he shouldn't move too far away from the archery because uh, you don't want Honey Blossoms to get the archery yeah. dojo because his bowgen would become strong, very strong. Decapping the shrine, that's good. And he should Ooh, be giving no, some this is not good now. though. This is not good. He's pulling oh, back, pulling he's back. pulling back, just in time. And now he can counter charge with Cav, he should- Oh, oh Cav oh. is also Yari trapped Cav there. Into Yari Samurai, no, they lost so much. But right he's there. gonna pull out because he has the speed to run away. It's routed. Oh, the Yari Cav routed, oh, that's so bad luck. Will oh, it come back though? Matchlocks doing so much damage to, loose, to monks that were not in loose formation. Now they're in loose formation, but... And another charge. That was a very bad charge. I don't know what Red yeah. was doing there. He's gonna lose another Yari Cav and doing absolutely nothing yeah. with them. He needs to and go the in other and hit those matchlocks now. Like on the other side, there's also a big engagement. He didn't uh, charge the Nodachi on the left with any Cav yeah. unit. He's not Our charging his Cav into that matchlock, Samurai. Yeah, I think, and his general is all the way in the back, so his units are gonna route very uh, fast. He's afraid of that bowgen. Like he dealt with the great guard so well, but it seems like he's not gonna be able to deal. Yeah, with and it. now he's just rushing in from the front, which is the stupidest thing he could have done. Yeah, I think, I think this game is over. And <laughs> uh, no, this was, uh no, it's not he's over losing... yet. I don't know. He lost so much already. Like. Uh... Yeah. True. There's still no dash alive. He got overconfident or Yeah. He's got no cap. He's got no He didn't really flank at all actually. <laughs> well he yeah. tried to flank with the Yari cap but then didn't pay attention. He needed to be more patient, I guess. But I guess he felt pressured by the Bojan. Like I don't see any like, other reason. Yeah. He could have had this game easily after those two great guards died. Yeah. But his build is like a very unforgiving one. Like, yep, dude. and he he actually yeah. lost a lot of monks because he w didn't have proper meat shield. Like look at those. Oh, yeah, he ran straight into matchlocks when he didn't have to. He could have just walked around, yeah. flanked. He's trying though, but he may have a, a, s a very very small chance if those matchlocks die somehow. Like that's the only thing I can see. Matchlocks and the gen needs to die. Yeah. But how? Well, he's got Spears of Shizuka uh, Take. Look, now he's running away with his monks. Or what is he doing? Oh. Running towards the hill. Oh, he is gonna get into the general. Oh, and his Hannibalismus being sloppy. With his Spears of Shizuka Take and his general. But he's just gonna run towards he's his uh, Yari Sam. He's losing a lot though. Oh, that Yari Cav is taking some significant damage. 
But still, he, he shouldn't have enough though. And look, it actually survived with 16 men left. Yep. Matchlock is gonna die though, so that's one good thing. And that yeah, Yari but Sam he definitely needs die. to get that general. Yeah. But yeah. good thing for he him. He should get his cav out now. Yeah. Hannibalismus army is very out of position to deal with this right now. Like most and of And the shrine is not uh, longer in possession of Hannibalismus, so the morale is just very bad right now. If he can chase that, oh, it looks like he's gonna get the general. Yes, he's got the charge speed. He, and he has a farm out, so he's, he's faster in, in general. Yeah. Ten men left. Ten men? He's gonna get into the attendance, though. Or Eight. If he gets those match locks, he might win. And Eight. And now he's running around. Okay. General, what did he do with the general? Did he go into stand and fight? No. Hmm. The thing is, though, that it looks he like he might not have ammo anymore. Oh, he does. Yeah, I don't know. This is. But it's such a mess. Did he even use? Yeah, he used War Cry right now. Uh, General moving, getting into the match with Monk. If very he good. Somehow wins this. I would be shocked. That would be <laughs> insane. But look, it's spot. Well, if he can kill a general, just get that general, and it's over. Yari Samurai coming back. Or uh, Anibalismus in the back, though it's gonna be important. Mm -hmm, but still losing, Red's losing his gen, and he's losing his last cav units here. Yeah, and well, his... maybe the Yari cav, but it will be caught by the Yari Sam. Yes. Looks like he'll be. Oh, but it's gonna get through. Yeah, it's gonna get through. He doesn't have enough. It's to wavering grind it though. Through, uh, to grind it in the melee fight, I think. Oh, because... Yari cav routed. Ooh. He needs to use his gen to like inspire or something. I don't know if he still has. Oh, it. he's the spears of Shitugatake were still left, and he charged Our into a spear and a matchlock. Yeah, now it's over. This is over. Two, three units left. No way, it's gonna happen. Nope. G is called, so Hannibalismus is going to take it to zero. Yep. This looked very convincing at first, but there was a small glimmer of hope for Red. Hmm. <laughs> and Bonismus said, what a fail. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't happy with this battle. I, I can see why. <laughs> Major uh, blunder in the beginning, and, uh, and then at the end, he almost gave it away. Yeah, but he won, and that's the most important yep. thing. But to be honest, Red helped him here. Yes. It's a very strange build. <laughs> yep. Well, I do like the monks, but he should have used maybe some meat shields. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, he shouldn't really, uh, should have been, should not have attacked from the front. Never attack from the front. Yeah. The spears of Shizuka Take. Nice. 107 kills. Yeah, overall, just look at those great cards being wasted. <laughs> yep. Or Hannibalismus. He only got 34 and 44. Definitely not enough. That was... That was like a really good moment for Red. But unfortunately for him, he'd already lost like something like 80 to 100 men in his monks, I think. Because his units were going around the archery dojo on the wrong side. So they got shot by yeah. the locks. That was important. But I don't think that was the, the most important thing why he lost. He At some point he just straight up engaged against yeah. an Odachi who had a downhill charge. Then he charged uh, at a matchlock from the front. The two Yari Cav on the, yeah. the left flank. All these things that didn't really need to happen. He could have taking his time uh, perhaps even let him shoot all of the the bow uh, his ammunition from his bow gen yeah anyway hope you guys and girls enjoyed and if you want to see more don't forget to comment or subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video and i shall see you next time